Hi, this is Dave Soberi with Patch.com. We're here at Birmingham High School where the Chatsworth Chancellors have a chance to clinch the outright league championship for the 29th time. The Chancellors are ready, so let's go to the highlights. Angel Rodriguez shows great command early on and gets through the first inning unscathed with the little dribbler to the first baseman Keeper Kaufman. After one inning, there's no score. The Chancellors go back to work in the second when catcher Ricky Obando calls the pitch out and guns down the Birmingham base runner at second. It's 0-0 and to the top of the third we go. The dugout encourages Chris DeVito and he responds with the first base hit of the game to the opposite field. But offense was hard to find in an early pitcher's duel. Jared Hawley makes the catch and we're headed to the fourth inning in a still scoreless game. Ricky Obando starts the fourth off right with a smash hit up the middle. Then Brady Conlon blasts it into left field for the base hit. So there's runners on first and second for Kiefer Kaufman. He drives it into left field for the RBI double. Ricky Obando come on down and it's 1-0 Chatsworth. In the bottom of the fourth, Angel Rodriguez continues his dominance. He blows it by the hitter for the strikeout and Jared Hawley makes the play to first to finish off the inning. At the end of four, the score is Chatsworth one and Birmingham zero. The fifth inning is the inning where the Chatsworth bats really came to life. First, Chris Carlin hits a line drive base hit. Then, Jared Hawley bunts for a hit, which sets the stage for the powerful senior Stephen Carkenny to come through with an RBI double, scoring Carlin. It's 2-0 Chatsworth. The rally continues when Rolf Kamas takes it the other way and the ball sails all the way to the wall, scoring Hawley and Carkenny to make it 4-0 Chatsworth. And Brady Conlon bunts in Kamas for the fourth run in the inning. It's 5-0 Chatsworth. To the bottom half of the fifth we go. Angel Rodriguez is really in a rhythm. He throws the nasty off-speed pitch for a strikeout, and just for good measure, he gets another guy swing. It remains 5-0 Chatsworth after five. Ryan Escobar shows great hustle to beat the throw for the infield single to open up the sixth inning. And Chris DeVito follows that up with a knock to left field. So there's a runner on first and second for Justin Vega who executes the perfect sacrifice bunt, and the Chancellors have a man on second and third. Small ball continues to work when Jared Hawley lays down the bunt, scoring Escobar to make it 6-0 Chancellors. In the bottom of the sixth, Birmingham has a man on second, and there's a knock to right field. But Raw Thomas shows off his cannon and nails the runner at the plate. What a throw by the right fielder. Birmingham would add two runs late, but Rodriguez finished his complete game off with another strikeout, slamming the door on Birmingham's slim hopes. The final score, the Chatsworth Chancellors, six, and the Birmingham Patriots, two. Well, first of all, it is exciting, you know, coming, coming back from last year, you know, today, we definitely came out and competed, did what we did, you know, Henny sure did pick me up today, and. You know, I came in, attack, you know, in and out. You know, it feels good. You know, the league's very competitive, and uh, we worked hard all week. And, uh, you know, we reached our goal, and now we got, you know, we got a lot more to go. We got playoffs, and our team has worked hard, and uh, it feels good.